In this section, you're going to learn how to optimize applications that have complex or many applications and interactions with Microsoft Graph. Many complex scenarios can involve complex interactions with the data that is exposed via Microsoft Graph. For instance, consider an application that needs to display three different types of data from Microsoft Graph. The expand operator may not be sufficient as the data isn't directly relatable or the queries would get too complex. Another scenario that, uh, that may involve multiple operations is a write operation, such as if you want to prepare for an event by saving a resource to a shared OneDrive folder, creating a shared OneNote notebook for the event, and then sending meeting invites out to all the participants. Applications can get quite chatty very quickly, and that can also introduce potential throttling issues. And one way to avoid any issues is to inter introduce an optimization, and that is to group multiple requests into a single request to Microsoft Graph. This support, which we call batching, instructs Microsoft Graph to execute multiple requests and return the group results for each request in a single response. Batching doesn't reduce the number of requests, but it does reduce the number of HTTP round trips your application requests to Microsoft Graph. Now requests with a batch aren't special requests. They're just like any other request that you would submit. So all endpoints and resources that are exposed by Microsoft Graph can support batching. And when supporting batching requests or when you submit them, all URLs within the request should be relative to the root of the version of the Microsoft Graph REST endpoint. One important point to keep in mind is that batching does not introduce transactional support to your group requests. Furthermore, a batch that contains five requests, for example, can have three requests succeed and two fail. These mixed results are still considered a successful batch request as the request and response aren't malformed. All batch requests must be submitted as an HTTP post to the graph.microsoft.com v1 endpoint and include the batch query operator. The requests in a batch are submitted within a JSON collection of requests within the batch request body. Unless the depends on property is defined within a request that references the ID of a previous request, the requests aren't guaranteed to be executed in any order. Microsoft Graph de determines when they are executed, which may be simultaneously. Each request within the batch request body contains properties that define the request. You include the HP method and the URL in addition to the unique ID number that you assign to each request. You can include optional headers and body properties in the request for specific HTTP post requests. A batch request results in a single response that includes a collection of individual results for each request. Each response object in the response collection has an ID that matches the corresponding request ID in the original request. This way you can check if the status of each request you receive in the response. 